welcome to an extraordinary place, a place of elegance, modern luxury, a place with a famous name, a place of art. No doubts, we are in China, and we are heading for the walled of Astoria, Beijing. Welcome to In Bed with Luxury. My name is Charles Paddington, and I have tested luxury hotels all over the world, but this time it's special. The country is, and the hotel too. By population, China is the biggest country in the world. 1.4 billion people live here. One of five human beings is Chinese, almost at least. For a long time after the beginning of communist rule, China was a closed country for foreigners. In the late 60s, for instance, there were more Americans on the moon than American tourists in China. And now there are not only more Starbucks outlets in China than in whole Europe, there's also a luxury hotel with a name that reminds of the probably most famous hotel in the USA, the Waldorf Astoria. It is located in China's capital Beijing, a 22 million inhabitants metropolis still proud of its traditions. This is it, the Waldorf Astoria, Beijing. Opened in 2014 and just one kilometer in straight line away from Beijing's heart, the Forbidden City and the Tiananmen Square. Its roots lie on the other side of the world, in New York's Fifth Avenue. Johann Jakob Astor, a German immigrant who changed his name to John Jacob Astor and who became the richest man in America at his time. One of his descendants opened the luxurious world of Astoria, New York in 1931, then the highest and biggest hotel in the world. The famous salad was invented here and also Paris Hilton grew up in one of the Waldorf suites. In the meantime, there are 37 Waldorf hotels and resorts and all belong to the Hilton Group. The property in Beijing is located in the Wangfujing district, close to strong competitors like the Peninsula and the Regent Hotel. Let's check in now, have a drink at the bar and watch a little bit what's going on here. This hotel is a masterpiece of interior design, full of art and elegance. The walls are covered with expensive silk from Su Chao. The staircase is a masterly blend of soft edges, marbles and gold. And though the hotel has 176 rooms and suites, it manages to pretend to be a small boutique hotel. It never feels crowded and can offer what a five-star hotel takes. Even an elegant spa 
and pool, for instance. There are 10 categories of rooms, starting from 40 to 95 square meters, and you can expect them all to be impeccably stylish with elegant touches of Art Deco, fine amenities from Ferragamo, and state-of-the-art technology like a television set in the bathroom, a Japanese-style toilet, and a table handset to control the curtains. There is another specialty. Behind the main building, there is a hutong, a part built like a traditional Beijing house with a courtyard and suites in Qing dynasty style. There is also one budget blowing, mammoth sized villa with a private pool. Here you can literally experience a bygone time of Chinese history. Historically, there were two Waldorf Astoria hotels. The first one opened in 1893 on the location of today's Empire State Building and was later demolished. The restaurant Brasserie 1893 is a reminder of this first Waldorf Astoria hotel. Brasserie, by the way, stands for not formal but high quality. Have a good but pricey steak here. A good alternative is fine Cantonese cuisine in the Ziyin Mansion. Both restaurants offer around about 400 wines. If you fancy a classic New York martini, a cosmopolitan, or a Manhattan, a quick meal, or a nice afternoon tea, the Peacock Alley is the right place. For Mr. Paddington, it is. A good cup of tea makes my day. Take care and see you at another edition of In Bed with Luxury. Your Charles Paddington.